So we are back and today I want to talk to you about a feature uh, or an editing technique that I've only seen a couple times. It's getting more and more popular. I've seen it uh, only a few times in wakeboarding. So I wanted to show you guys how you do it and what it is. This is called, I don't really know what it's called, but I call it the freeze frame video picture. Freeze frame, just watch. So to do this effect, it's really not that difficult. You just have to pick the exact frames that you want to use, trace around them, whether it's a person or an item uh, that you want to feature, cut it out in Photoshop, most likely, put it back into Premiere or iMovie or whatever, or whatever program you're using to edit your videos. They should all be pretty similar. Premiere does give you more flexibility, more options, whereas iMovie, iMovie you've got a couple more limitations that you have to work around. But I'll show you how to do both. Uh, and iMovie is free if you have an Apple computer, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, let's jump onto the computer and let's get into it. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro, and all you have to do is select a clip that you want to use. You swipe along until you get to the parts that you want to use as your freeze frames. So I'm going to go right after he leaves the wake right here, and I'm going to go click this picture icon right here and that says export frame. So there is your frame, it's gonna save it as a JPEG, okay? And it's gonna export that frame and the correct size and everything, because it's really important that you wanna keep the same size on all these. And then you will do the same thing, you're gonna keep scrubbing along, maybe right there, and I'll do the same thing, so I'm gonna press the export freeze frame button. It's still going to the desktop, I'm gonna press OK, and then I'll do it one more time. And you can do this as many times as you want, but for this, I think three freeze frames is plenty. And I'm gonna go right to where he's about to land. There are two ways to do this. You can use these exact frames on your timeline and trace with the pen tool that Premiere Pro gives you, but I prefer not to do it that way. I feel like you can get better detail in Photoshop. So I'm gonna switch over to Photoshop. And again, there's multiple, multiple ways to do this. This is just kind of my way, quick and easy, that I like to go about it. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to select the first layer and zoom way in so I can get as close and detailed as I can. And then I'm just gonna trace around him and I'm going to copy that and paste it again. I'm gonna take out the background layer and now that it's easy to see, I'm going to continue tracing out the rest. So all I have is the rider and the trick or the board that he's grabbing. So there you have it, I've zoomed back out, and now you can see the three frames that we're going to keep still. Now I am gonna export all of these separately. So I'll just do it one by one. So here's the first clip, and I'm gonna keep a transparent background, that way we can overlay it really easily into the video. So now that those are all exported, I just go back to my desktop, import them into my project bin. Now I'm just going to drag right on top of them. And I just like to get them all there, that way you can see what you're working with. You can watch the clip real quick to see, okay, everything lines up, everything's the right size. But now I'm gonna zoom back out, so the full timeline to look at here. And so all you have to do is end it as soon as he fills in that frame. So right about there looks right. And I'm just gonna go right to the line there. Next one, go frame by frame here. Oh, perfect, right there. Line it up. And then the third one, frame by frame, a little too far, right there. And you just keep those layers. Now let's watch it back. Very simple, very easy, but looks really cool. And you can do this basically with any footage you have, but there is a trick to it. To make sure that the camera stayed pretty still or is tracking exactly in the same spot, because if you don't, then it gets way more difficult. And that's basically it. So 
If you want to do this in iMovie, it's pretty simple. There's a little trick to it, but it's really not that bad. What I do before putting it in the timeline is I will take a screenshot of the clip that I want to use. So right there, I'll stop it. If you press Command Shift 4, drag the entire frame, and then let go, it'll take a picture. And then once I have that picture, I take it into Photoshop, do the similar steps that we did for Premiere. And then once that's done, you export it as a PNG. So, so there it is, there's the exported image. And I will just drag and drop it into the timeline, very simple. And there you have it. So then you just have to do the same thing we did in Premiere, is you line it up to where you want it, and then right there, you can just drag the toolbar and line it up right to where he lines up, right about there. Give it a quick test play, and that was it. But if you notice, the picture on here is slowly, appears to be growing larger and larger, and you don't want that. So what you want to do is go up to crop, and you don't want this Ken Burns effect, you want fit. But then what that does is now it puts a black layer over there, and you don't want that either. So you're gonna go down to picture in picture. I like to line up to the top left corner, that's just my preference, and then I drag. And now it should be the exact same size as the video. So now you can play it back, perfect. Now the limitation with iMovie is that you can't put multiple layers. So if I tried to put another one in there of, this is him taking off. See how it eats up the other layer? You can't do that. And that's the limitation that you run into with iMovie. They only let you have so many layers. Anyway, that's the free version. Still pretty cool. And if you make a cool video, make sure to share it with me. I wanna see it. If you put it on Instagram or on YouTube, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey girl, say bye.